gold getting sold to buy foreign currencies. It's about gold being used as the monetary asset of last resort or final selling. They can send a Bitcoin price basically wherever they want to. But once it's discovered that Tether really is a Federal Reserve in disguise and just printing money out of thin air, if that's the case, and many believe it is, then Bitcoin's got a problem going forward. Let's talk about gold because you could see it returning in some form to the monetary system. Is this part of what the new financial system looks like for you? What role does gold play? That's the toughest question you've asked. So one, it's a yes, no answer. Yes, if Putin or R Russia is serious about making a tie to gold to settle in oil, you know, oil for gold, if that actually takes place day after day, week after week, month after month, and that trade solidifies, obviously, we've answered our own question. Gold is back this really one of the most important parts of the monetary system. If, on the other hand, it's done synthetically or it's done as a proxy, then we have to wait and see. My idea before recent times was that the central bank digital currencies would be unbacked using modern money theory, unlimited printing, and they do a reset on the debt structure so that the debt basically goes away. And that would be the starting point of the new system. I don't think that gold's going to come in immediately, but I could be wrong based on what I just said previously. If Russia really goes to gold, they start settling in gold, then they are you know, making a new monetary system based on, on some type of a gold exchange rate. Just to clarify, are you saying you were going to see Russia... Uh, uh, liquefying some of their gold here to get to get some cash and get out of this mess? Or are they looking at hoard gold as much as possible here? Well, the latest news that I've had is that they want to set a floor on the gold price. And the floor is something around 1750 uh, US equivalent, meaning I think it's 5,000 rubles uh, for so much gold. And that was a really smart way to do it. What you really want is to have a stable currency. There's nothing more stable than an ounce of gold. It never changes. What changes is the value of it. So you have to make the value um, basically a baseline and it can increase from there. And this is what the proposal is. So it's not about gold getting sold to buy foreign currencies. It's about gold being used as the monetary asset of last resort or final settlement. Let's talk silver now. You say the silver to gold ratio could probably reach 15 to 1 in a breakdown scenario. Uh, silver is constrained compared with gold because banks do not consider it to be money. Uh, you've been talking about a great silver crisis uh, since 2020 here. Are we edging closer to that? We are. I just did my whole presentation here in Las Vegas on silver. That's what they asked me to do. And I put up a, a best case scenario for technology going forward to 2030. And based on uh, Matt Watson's uh, work and the amount of input we get through what's going on technologically, there really is not a way to get that much silver out of the ground uh, 10 years out. So from a legacy perspective, something you could go out 10 years and buy now, it's the most undervalued asset. 10 years from now, theoretically, we don't have enough to meet industrial demand, let alone silverware, jewelry, or, or investment demand. So I think the trajectory as it stands today is very, very favorable to silver. And since it is money in most um, South American or Latin based countries, uh, and it is used on the internet as, or digital currencies as money as well, I think you're gonna see more and more pressure for it monetarily. Let's just go one step further. This is a recent thought of mine. If you look at what Putin did with gold, and we just discussed, Think about Mexico being number one or two producer of silver, and with their new president, maybe they will have an idea of using silver as a means of final payment, right? I mean, if silver was proportional to gold in the historic ratio, you said 15 to 1, and it was like four times what it is now or five times, um, you would have maybe a better monetary base to make trade with. So very interesting times. The monetary system is collapsing. A new one needs to come about. And the biggest question to me is, is it going to be where we, the people, have control of our money 
or are the banks going to have such control that we basically have to bend the knee to them to do anything? Which direction do you think it's going to go? What's your gut feeling? Oh, I know what I know what direction they want it to go. <laughs> they want you know the complete control. I think there'll be a battle. And I do think that they'll be um, less rigorous, but I'm not sure. No one really so, knows. So you, so you don't think people will be complacent? You don't think they'll buy into the digital dollar? You think there'll be a revolt? Very small percentage. I mean, uh, there's a science fiction book a friend of mine wrote called Highland, and it talks about the vast majority will just go along with it. There'll just be a real subset that doesn't want to do this. And will they have enough voice or power to do anything about it? No, they won't. They'll have to go out into the countryside and start living a rural type of a lifestyle. A little bit more on silver here. Uh, we saw what happened to the nickel market. LME had to shut it down. Do you see that happening with silver or gold? I do. I think it's a great template for what really goes on in these paper markets. And I think it was a big wake up call to many people that were, let's say, more establishment than I am that said, oh, come on, it's a bunch of hocus pocus. And now it's in there, you know, right in front of them. And because of that fact, I think a lot of people are waking up. I can see some of these bigger funds moving their silver out of the uh, facilities that they now have into a private vault where they really know they own it. So, David, I have to ask you this question. If not, the people will revolt in the comment section. If this is the, the uh, reality uh, that you see coming, then has that changed your forecast? And you weren't even that bullish on silver last time we spoke. And that's to my point that you're not this like rah, rah, rah uh, type spokesperson for silver. Um, but has that since changed your long-term forecast for silver and gold? It has not. I still think, you know, you're going to see the thousands for gold. I mean, 3,000 be a minimum of mine. I think three to five is the most likely. And then silver will play catch up, but I don't think the ratio is going to get back to 15 to one. I think it's more like 30 to one, which means silver out, outperformed gold on about a 200% basis. So in other words, if uh, gold doubles, silver will quadru 